I'm Greg Russell. Larry Plennert and I uh, were on the 1976 Olympic team together and uh, we played together on club teams in BC. We played professionally in the IVA in the United States uh, and uh, uh, we've been golfing buddies off and on over the years. We met in 1974 when uh, they were holding tryouts for the 76 Olympics. I had seen Larry previously playing for the University of Winnipeg, but that's when we first met. Even though he's from BC, uh, we met there. Like me, he's 6'6", and we're the taller guys, and some of the drills were tougher for taller guys, but he was really supportive. I really uh, connected with him at that time. His nickname is uh, Zelmo. I wasn't involved in, in establishing the nickname, but I think it's part of the magic he has in, in terms of a, an outside hitter. He finds a way somehow to avoid the block in the defense and, and to score by, by hitting off the block, by using cut shots, using power, uh, just finding, somehow finding the open spots on the court. Competitiveness and pride are, are probably the most important defining qualities. He does not like to lose. He really is uh, 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 has a winning attitude and uh, he expects to win. Uh, playing with him, there's no pressure. It's, it's just a higher expectation of performance. Congratulations, Larry, on a fantastic career. Um, I was able to share a lot of it and uh, I know that you from first-hand experience that you are totally deserving of this honor. Um, so, congratulations. So, I met a stranger at the grocery store uh, roughly a week ago or so, and he asked me a question that I've been asked hundreds of times uh, over the course of my life. Uh, never met this guy before, but he seemed like a nice guy, and. He says, he looks up at me and he says, you know what, you're really tall. Uh, you must be a basketball player. Are you a basketball player? <laughs> and uh, I answered the question the way I've answered it now for 50 years. Uh, answered it very proudly, no, I'm a volleyball player. <laughs> Standing here as a volleyball player, it's uh, such a fabulous honor to be uh, inducted tonight. And uh, before I, I say a few things, I also want to acknowledge uh, that we are participating tonight on the traditional territory of the Coast Salish people. So I proudly became a volleyball player, uh, competitively I guess, uh, in grade 11. And uh, that was playing for Herb Crawley. Uh, Herb, where are you at? <laughs> yeah, Herb, okay. Herb Crawley coaching the J.O. Jokers. Uh, and uh, that was the start of uh, a real special time for me. And uh, we were at a, a function at Greg's place last night. And uh, it was great to see you again, Herb. And uh, so grateful for your coaching and the dedication that you showed to all of us way back then. Uh, so I was, uh, I guess I was about 16 years old, that was my first volleyball uh, where I was playing, and uh, I made the team. Mind you, I think there was only about 10 of us that tried out and there wasn't any cuts. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. Uh, um, and so I had a great high school experience, had a great uh, university experience, uh, playing at the University of Winnipeg for two years. So for any of you coaches out there that coach university, I've still got three years of eligibility. <laughs> so after, uh, after a, just a quick three and a half years from starting to play volleyball, I was a starter on the national team at the age of 19. I was just a mercurial rise. Uh, just, uh, I was so fortunate to have fabulous coaching uh, in my grade 12 year, Coach, um, coach uh, Lindell uh, coaching me with the Vancouver Spaghetti Factory and, and all of you guys in the middle here uh, kind of mentoring me along the way. It was great to play with you that year. Uh, with, and playing a couple years with Boris uh, at the University of Winnipeg. Uh, you saw his picture along with mine at the Fichu Games in Moscow. Uh, we just had fabulous, fabulous experiences. 
I'll just name a couple of highlights that are important to me, not so much because uh, it was anything that I did personally, but because they were significant in terms of the development of our men's Canadian program. So in 1973, we were playing in the Norseka Zone Championships, and that's the, uh, Norseka is Central America, North America, uh, what else, uh, Caribbean, I believe. And, and that's one of the zones that, to qualify for the World Championships and to qualify for the Olympic Games. So in 1973, uh, I was playing with the, I was playing right side on the national team and Mike Farnawani was our coach uh, at that time. And we won a medal at those Norseka Games. We beat Mexico, who was ranked 10th in the world at that time. And that was a really significant milestone, I think, for our program. Uh, because that then qualified us to go for the first time ever to the 74 World Championships. And Greg and I, and uh, I'm not sure, I think it was the two of us that were on that team that played there. Uh, so that was one really great highlight. Uh, the following year in 1974, I was uh, part of the University of Winnipeg Westman team that was the first men's university team to also win the senior men's championships in Canada. And it was kind of the start of university volleyball becoming uh, kind of supreme over the club volleyball system, if you will, and, and the quality of the athletes that were improving at the university level. In 1975, uh, we had a match at War Memorial Gym against the Japanese national team. And uh, Bill Neville was our coach at that point, and that was a really important match. We're, Japan was the reigning Olympic gold medalist. Uh, like, they were right up there. And uh, we played them at a, a really intense five-set match at War Memorial, um, and we beat them in five. Uh, and that was just outstanding. <laughs> And what that really did for us young guys on the national team, like all of a sudden we realized, you know, we can do something. This country has got the potential to be fabulous at this sport and to compete with these top teams in the world. It was just, uh, uh, it was just a great thing for us personally and a great thing for the Canadian men's team generally. Uh, I won't say much about the 76 Olympics. That was just uh, an unbelievable highlight. And I think for all of the girls that were part of that, I should say women, I guess, but that were part of that experience, and Tom and Greg that were part of that experience, and uh, Tom that was there later in 84. Uh, you get to those opening ceremonies, and you, it is so euphoric. Like, you just feel like you're gonna win that gold medal, and there's all this adrenaline. Of course, every other athlete that parades into that stadium feels the same way, and it's just, uh, a fabulous rush and, and a fabulous feeling that you have as an Olympic athlete. Uh, it was just a wonderful moment. Uh, and then finally, one other memory, and this jumps up to when I rejoined the national team uh, as they were preparing for the 84 Olympics, and unfortunately I, I had an injury that kind of ended my career on the national team at that point, but my final match with that team uh, was in Edmonton. We were playing, the, I think it was called the Canada Cup, I, I believe and we uh, played against the American team in the finals and we beat the Americans. And of course, USA went on uh, the following year to win the gold medal in the 84 Olympics. Unfortunately, it wasn't our team that won that medal, but it was, we had a team again that was world class uh, in 84. So those are just a couple of the highlights I wanted to share with you tonight. And um, I wanna say a few thank yous as well. Uh, there are so many faces that uh, I recognize around the tables here, uh, teammates from all kinds of teams and co former coaches, and uh, it would be great to be able to single out every one of you because it's been meaningful to play with everyone that I've played with. But there's some special people that I do want to uh, acknowledge tonight. Uh, first of all, I want to acknowledge uh, the support of my family. Um, and my family's here tonight, uh, my daughter Robin, Pardon me. <laughs> my daughter Robin, uh, my son-in-law Matt, my daughter Jody, my sister Karen uh, is here from Abbotsford, uh, and my wife Cheryl. Uh, and uh, and uh, 
as much as all of the volleyball people have made me a better person, these are the people that have truly uh, been inspirational for me and made me a better man. Um, my very dear friend Jerry Grunel and dear friend Jane Grunel are here. Uh, Jerry was the best man at my wedding. Uh, we've been childhood friends. Uh, we played together with the J.O. Jokers. Uh, and uh, we finished, uh, Kathy knows who that, what that's all about, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and played many matches over the years, including uh, we were kind of fixtures at the Mission Springs Beach League for about 10 years uh, uh, later on in life. So, so glad that you two of you came out as well tonight. Thank you. I want to thank Volleyball British Columbia, uh, the Hall of Fame Committee, uh, and uh, Bethany, thank you for all the the support you gave me just to prepare for this night. Uh, appreciated uh, that great work that you did and, and thank you so much for all of that. Uh, and to all of those that supported my nomination, uh, those that wrote letters of support, I'm not gonna single you out because uh, Charles has already told me I'm supposed to you know, draw the line in terms of timing, but you know who you are and thank you so much each one of you for, for writing those letters. Uh, but I will single out my dear friend Tom Graham that played on the Olympic team with me. Uh, Tom was the one who uh, initiated my nomination here and Tom and I over the last maybe couple of years or so have had uh, some get-togethers where ostensibly Tom was interviewing me for the process of this uh, induction uh, nomination in any event. Uh, but really what it was, was two really good friends reminiscing about some fabulous uh, times together. And, uh, Tom, thank you so much for initiating this process, for your friendship, and for uh, generating a, a great nomination on my behalf. I appreciate that. I'm gonna finish off with uh, just a short little story, if you will. Um, and I guess it, when I read the, the different letters of support for my nomination, uh, it didn't talk as much about achievement as it did about character. What kind of character was Larry Plenert, you know, as a teammate? What kind of person was he on the court? And what kind of person has he been off the court? Uh, and some of the themes that came through were things like competitiveness, but also uh, a sense of justice, a sense of loyalty to teammates. Um, and uh, probably, uh, as much as anything else, a sense of humor. And so I think, from my perspective, Bill Neville, who wrote a letter of support for me, some, some of this up, uh, kind of condensed it into one little anecdote that took place uh, at the Olympic Games. This was our first match against Czechoslovakia, as that country was then known. Uh, and that match stands out in my mind for a couple reasons. And actually, the story that Nev wrote about it, I'd forgotten about it till I read it in his letter. But that was also a match where we were just into the second set. And all of a sudden, the ref stops the game. Uh, and we sat there for about 15 minutes, losing all of our momentum while Queen Elizabeth walked in to watch some volleyball. <laughs> so <laughs> we were not particular fans of the monarchy that day, let me tell you. <laughs> but uh, Bill reminded me of another incident that happened during that match, and I'll just read you exactly word for word what Bill said in his letter. Larry had a huge sense of humor accompanied by a wide mouth laugh. During the Olympic Games, we were playing a match against Czechoslovakia. Among other things, the rules were different then. For example, I committed the felonious act of standing up to make a substitution. I was ticketed with a red card. Needless to say, the down official wasn't our favorite. When a sub entered the game, he had to ring a cowbell. I subbed Larry back into the game. He grabbed the cowbell, started jingling it enthusiastically, ran it over to the official and with sarcastic seriousness handed it to the official with a sincere smile. <laughs> he was a terrific loyal teammate. <laughs> so 
being with all of you here tonight makes me think that, you know, for a night, for a week, uh, again, I am a volleyball player. And it's uh, a tremendous honor to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, and thank you all for your participation in, that, in helping you get here and, uh, and for this tremendous honor. Thank you very much.